main ingredient. This is a steamed Okinawan sweet potato. So we will cut this in a small cube. Are Okinawan sweet potatoes pretty moist? All the sweet potatoes are moist okay. if you steam. And what's the health benefits of these? Fiber. Fiber. Mm -hmm. And antioxidant because of the purple color. Mm -hmm. okay. What do you have so far? Because I don't know if I was recording. Some giant snow peas, green onion, asparagus. Bell pepper, and then uh, the hamakua mushroom, and, uh, yes. and I'm gonna chop some garlic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You can make a garlic chop, please. Make it like this, either way. Slice. Slice. Or you can make a <coughs> small. Dice, but I'm gonna use this way today. So, general amount of olive oil. And you cook the garlic first. Turn the heat medium high. Don't want to burn garlic for sure. Set all the ingredients then by the gold. So here we have all the different things you're putting in. And you're going to be making a what? Sweet. Okinawan sweet potato stir fry. Okay. So this is one way to make, use a sweet potato. You can put meat in too if you wanted. No need meat in because sweet potato is already sweet. No, meat, meat, if somebody wanted dead meat. And we can the color of the vegetable, that is not the, not only the color, each color has a pigment of the antioxidant or phytochemical. Mm -hmm. Red color has like lycopene or what, flavonoid. Green has different, you know, each one has different health benefits, not just the color. Mm -hmm. so but it looks pretty more appetizing. Yeah, so when, you, when the garlic is start cooking, before they start to get burned, you add other stuff. Mm -hmm. so that way you cook and you add something. So you said when you add, it reduces the temperature, so you're not going to burn mm -hmm. that garlic? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes I put the garlic in later because I don't like to burn it. Well, one way you can do is you cook the garlic and take it out. Yeah. And add them later. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But yours were sliced, so. Yeah. And then you add the sweet potato already cooked. Mm -hmm. So, how long did you steam the sweet potato? Uh, about 15 minutes. Looks like you're going to need a dishwasher. <laughs> 15 minutes, that's all? Yep. But it's fully cooked? Yep. You just uh, put a little water on the stove and... Yeah, you need a quite, I mean, not a little. You don't burn the pot. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now you're going to put some seasoning? Soy sauce around the edge of oh. the frying pan, not on top of the... I see. Yeah. This way you have a made of reaction from the soy sauce. You know the little burnt smell from mm -hmm. the soy sauce? will give the better flavor than adding on top of it. You can turn it off. You can add snow pea because it just cook with a residual heat. You don't want to overcook the snow pea. And then you add the pepper, you don't cook the pepper. It's not good to cook the pepper? No, you burn the pepper. Oh. And then that's it, and then you just uh -huh. put it on the plate. Okay. Do it, hold on. Okay. So you're putting a garnish. Yeah. A sliced green onion. Hey, yeah, it looks good, real simple.
and then you clean up as you go. Okay, let's see what Chef is up to now. We're going to make something new, okay? <laughs> this one's a little less healthy. It's got mayo in it. We're gonna, what are you going to make now? Sweet potato salad. Okay. Is this original or not original? In a way. Uh, I'm not really sure. <laughs> <clears throat> it's probably been done before, but um, you're not looking at a recipe or anything like that. So it's going to be your version. So a little mustard, a little mayo. Just a little. Small portion. That carrot. So this would be enough for maybe two servings. What you're making mm, for our dinner. <laughs> What's that slice called when you do that way? Uh, Are you going to do matchstick uh, or Julian? Julian. Okay. Yeah. Use the bigger part of the carrot, maybe eat your maple like this. Yeah, you're get using a small part. Yes, nice stuff. thin strips. Some people say well, mat it's matchstick. Spider salad, you won't mm -hmm. see much. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then use the julienne carrots. Left over from the the quarter. Mm -hmm. So you cut in half because much the size. So we're making a potato salad. In case the part first part of my video didn't work there. Okay, I'm gonna pause. Okay. Okay, then cut onion, mm -hmm. sliced onion. Are you using your knuckle to help you guide, or? No, you gotta use your. No, uh -huh. like this. Yeah, yeah like right. This. Okay. okay. That should be enough. Then massage them. A little salt, okay. Massage the salt in. And then just wait a little while. That way, you keep the vegetable. You make the vegetable more pliable. Mm -hmm. And then onion gonna lose the steam. You know, the smell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this way. See, already water coming out here. Mm-hmm. See the can squeeze and see the yeah. water. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, So, you have a steamed sweet potato. Which type is this? Okinawan? Okinawan sweet potato. Okay, it's pretty soft. Yeah. So, you're letting this um, mixture with the salt just salt. Yeah. sweat a little bit? Sweat. And then... Take if out you the like moisture. the skin, you can leave the skin out. Mm -hmm. Skin has more, you know, whatever the nutrient in there too. Okay, so now we've got... We've got potato, diced. So, sweet potato salad. When it, it makes this potato salad best when the potato is still hot. Oh, Not really? Cold like this. When after you peel whatever you cut and then you put in the bowl mm -hmm. and you add vinegar. Ah. Oh. Rice vinegar, little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little rice vinegar. When the potatoes hot, the rice vinegar have more absorbed inside the potato. Okay. Yeah, just like making sushi rice, when you mix the vinegar with the rice, when the rice is hot and you put vinegar, it soaks in. Mm -hmm. So you have a depth inside the sweet potato. Mm. Okay, now you have this vegetable. Mm -hmm. You see that a little bit? Yeah, the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Water is okay, a little bit. 
And then this adds uh, already adds salt, so you don't need to add salt. This mm -hmm. way. And then you put the mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And your this will make mustard. about two or three servings. Just that. Put crack the pepper. Okay. You could use tip. lemon also if you wanted instead yeah. of vinegar. Or you can use regular olive oil and uh, wine vinegar uh -huh. instead of mayonnaise if you don't like mayonnaise. If you want it more local, I mean, you could use lemon. So this way. It's done. Whoa, noisy. <laughs> Need a chopstick, I think. <laughs> so that's how it looks. And then uh -huh. you can make a garnish with this, probably. Something with color, because it kind of took out the color. Or a little green, yeah. maybe. Do you have anything green? Nice balance in there. I love that creamy texture and then the tartness of the vinegar and the sweetness of the potato. That was good. 